Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. You know, we notice in the chat, the Muslims are so brave and they are heroes and they can refute you. And they are working so hard to convince you that Jesus is not God. And why Jesus is not God? Because he pray. But Allah, he pray. Oh no, listen, Jesus, he put his head in the ground. Abdul, the Jews don't pray like Muslims. They lay down in the ground, not like you. So the Muhammadan, they think everybody is a pagan like them. You pray the same as the Buddhist, exactly. Go and watch how the Buddhists, they pray. You put your head in the ground and you bow down and your ass is up. This is a Buddhist prayer. Now, Allah himself, he says, that he pray to Muhammad, not on Muhammad, not for Muhammad, as Mimi Hijab, he said. So for us as a Christians, we don't have a problem because Jesus, he prayed to the Father. And the prayer between, between the Son and the Father is a holy conversation. Uh, and you know, the word of prayer have very simple meaning. Very simple meaning, you know. Either it's a supplication, you are asking for a wish, or you are asking for somebody, speaking to somebody, you believe he is, let us say, the authority, higher, you know. And Jesus, he said, my father is greater than I. That's why he is the son and the other person called the father. You, pray, you Muslim, you don't have a father, you don't have a son. So when Allah, he pray on Muhammad, he is praying to who? We love. Now the same Abdul, Mr. Little, car collection. You are so little, my friend. Otherwise, my Skype is open. Give me a call and I will be happy to have you. Uh, he said that the Prophet, he spoke about the fight of Badr. And then I quote for him the chapter of Al-Anfal, verse number 65-66, where it says clearly, Muhammad, he promised the Muslims that tomorrow you will have a very few number. He saw a dream. He saw a vision by Allah that tomorrow you will see a very little numbers of the disbelievers. When they went there, they found a huge number and they came back like a chicken. And then Muhammad, he changed his mind saying that Allah told him that today, Allah, he found a weakness on you. Hmm? He found a weakness on you. And here you will see that the Muslims are wasting their time. I mean, if your God is God, was Allah praying to different Allah to find out that they have a weakness? This is chapter 8, verse number 65, and chapter 8, verse number 66. In, in 65, Allah, he told them, 100 of you can fight 1,000. Very simple percentage. Then this God, when they went there and they got busted, then he said, oh, okay, you know what? Now Allah, he knows, Look at the first translation. Now he found out. Anyone who speaks Arabic, he can see it. So the God of Muhammad, now he found that you have a weakness, so he liked in your task. Why, when he said this verse here, he did not know that you cannot make it? He did not know that you have a weakness? So the percentage change from 1 to 10 to 1 to 2, which means the mistake in the Quran was 99% or 90%. 90% error in the assumption of Allah. Look like Allah, he did not know that those people have a weakness. So now after they went to war and he found that they cannot make it, obviously Muhammad, he discovered he is just exaggerating and he got busted. So he decided to change the number. You know, if the God of the Jews, he said to the Jews, you will win, it doesn't matter how much the enemy are. It doesn't matter. It's not about the number. If God is with you, who could be against you? Because you are not fighting alone. If God wanted to win, you would win. And this God, he promised them to win, but they lost. And now we will see Mr. Little. He is so little to continue texting. I don't see his chat is running no more. Look like he decided to leave and take a hike. Now, as you see in the in the uh, in the title, we have Sheikh Uthman versus Christian Prince. Now, Sheikh Uthman he will never dare to call me. 
You know that, right? But there is an older call from Sheikh Uthman. Now the Muslim might say he is not the same, but you can listen to the, you know, uh, to the call. And many, they agree that this is Sheikh Uthman. But we have our Skype open, Sheikh Uthman, if he ever dare, and he will never dare, to call with his real name, to say to us, okay, I want to debate you. But in this conversation, uh, Uthman ibn Farouk, he called, hiding his ID. And uh, I will let you hear some of it, so we can laugh together, and my Skype is open, any Muslim would like to call us, including Sheikh Uthman, the ketchup guy, he is more than welcome. The one who don't dare to call, give me Sheikh Uthman Skype, I will call him right now. You do not need to call me, I will call you. I will call you on your live broadcast. So what the problem? Why they are afraid? Give me any Sheikh, he is live in his broadcast right now, I will call him. Or if he is not live, he is dead, I don't care, I will call him too. You are afraid, not me. And you are avoiding me. And when they call, they use different names. Uh, have you come across a video of a guy who's making video against him in Africa? He said you should call him. My friend, the one who is making video against me in Africa, why, if, if I mean, I should call him? I never heard of him, so I, I will call him. I mean, this guy, he go in the desert of Africa, say, Christian Prince, if you are a man, call me. What about you call me? How I will know about you? You just told me about this guy. So if a person he is serious with his challenge, he will call me. I mean, I stay here five, six hours every day almost. Is it really hard to find me? So he heard of me, I never heard of him. So I'm going to call him. Call him where? Give me the Skype, I will call him right now. Don't tell me you should call him. Give me his Skype, I will call him right now. Right now, right now, not tomorrow. Before we start. Do you have his Skype? So don't give me this drama, please. I don't want a drama. This guy, he challenged you, and that guy, he will send you his mother-in-law, and the other guy, he told his wife to back up because they want to move to China because of me, and all the drama. The one who want to debate me, I'm here. A guy in Africa. Shall I get my GPS and go? Just give me his Skype, and I will call him right now. Not tomorrow, not next month, not next year. You know, you challenge a Muslim to debate you. He says, okay, let us choose a topic. Christian Prince, I challenge you to debate me. I let it do topic because I can make anything, just throw anything at me. Okay, Christian Prince, I'm going to throw some pizza at you. Okay, no problem. You're a prophet. What he said about pizza? Christian Prince, first of all, everybody is laughing at you. The prophet, he never heard of pizza. Are you saying to me that Allah never told him? Christian Prince, what your mouth? Allah told him everything. What you just said to me, he did not know about pizza. Because it's not important. Uh -huh. So it's important to know that if you shake your private part three times, why it's important? Why three times? What about four? Are you afraid it's going to be come out? Christian Prince, first of all, the prophet, he say things according to medical science. Medical science to shake it three times? What the heck is that? What if will happen if you do it for? Can you give us the medical science approval? So the Muhammadan are funny. They have a false prophet, silly religion, silly God. You know, the God who is a turtle. And, you know, they say to us, God is God. Anyway, our Skype is open. The one who is brave, he can just text me and we will go from there. Now, let us go to Sheikh Uthman who changed his voice calling me and see what happened. And we will be waiting for any Muslim to call us. Let us listen. Do that. Okay, we have Mr. Bilal. How are you, Bilal? How are you doing, Christian Prince? I'm fine, my What's going friend. on? How are you? Good, good. Not bad. So, Bilal, you are a Muslim, right? Not bad. You know who I am, Christian Prince? No, not really. I do not know. We spoke two times, uh, I think, uh, two months ago. Oh, okay. Sorry, I don't remember. Okay. Yes, yes. Go ahead. Yes, I am Muslim, though. Yes, alhamdulillah. And I want to say, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to my brothers and sisters who are uh, watching. Hmm. Uh, go ahead. So go ahead, Christian Prince. So you said, assalamu alaikum to the Muslims only, right? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Yes. To the Muslims. Okay, what do you say to the Christians? May Allah curse you. What do you say to them? Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. To the Christian too? Yes, to the Christian too. But I thought you cannot say that. 
Well, I just did. So uh, are you a good Muslim or you are disobeying your prophet when you do that? Well, I, uh, we, we as human beings, we have ups and downs in life. So okay. I will never uh, uh, let to Zaki and Fusu come. Right. I will never uh, praise myself. This is another question, my friend. I'm asking you. As I know, you're probably... Yeah, I'm tell and I'm telling you, am okay. I a good Muslim or not? I'm telling you, I have ups and downs. No, no, I'm I, not going to say I'm, yes. Okay, we are. I'm talking about certain things. You said, Assalamu alaikum to the Christian, which means peace to you, Christians, correct? Yes, okay. to my true Christian. I say to the true Christians, okay, not the okay, who, not the fake ones, not the fake ones. Okay, who is the, the true who, Christians who, are the ones that believe in one God. Oh, okay, ones. but okay, I will go yes. with you now. So, guys, if you are a true Muslim, a true Christian who believe in one God, all of us we believe in one God. All Christians believe in one no, God. No, you, you, you don't. You don't believe. You believe God had a son. Oh, okay. So, if you are a Christian who believe God have a son, what do you say to them? Curse you or what? No, not curse you, Allah yadikum. Uh, may Allah guide you guys. Okay, but is it the, okay? But isn't it the Quran says Allah guide not who He deceived? Allah guide who? Allah guide not who He deceived. Allah guide not who He deceived. Yes. Uh, you, you're asking me questions. Just please, like, make a topic and then make a point. No, this is my. This is our topic. We are continuing. Is it the Quran says, "Allah He guide not those who they, He deceived." Yes, the the, the, the ones who are uh, who are deceivers. No, no, it does not guide. Them. It doesn't say that. It says those who He deceived. He deceived. Who who, who Allah deceived? Yes. Okay, I'm uh, okay. Okay, I mean, I don't know. Do you know what I'm talking I, about, I or know. you are, uh, or you are just saying okay with I, I... <laughs> No, no, I, 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 want, I would uh, enlighten me, enlighten me, enlighten okay. me. So, have you ever heard that Allah said in the Quran, <laughs> "Allah guide not who He deceived"? Yeah, yes. Okay. Can you say it in Arabic? Maybe in Arabic it sounds more. Uh, okay. Can you say it in Arabic? Anta haduman Allah. Yes, whoever okay. Allah, uh, uh, whoever Allah, uh, what's the opposite of guide? Not guide, okay, so, guide, yeah. and he, he will not guide him. Okay, guys. So Allah is so, the one who guides. So, so yeah, yes, friend, Allah is the one who guides people, and he and he uh, misguides people. Yes. Okay, thank you. So, guys, we heard our friend Bilal here confirming that Allah mm -hmm. is the devil. He is the one who misguides people. Yes. And, Yes, but, he, but, he, uh, but, he, but how does he guide and how does he misguide? That's the question. How he misguide? Tell me. How he misguide? Through action. Me. Through action. Amalun Salah. No, but he said. Well, Amalun okay, so well, Allah. Yeah. Okay, so Allah, he misguide yeah. us by making us do bad things, correct? No, 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 no. He, he misguide doesn't us. misguide us by making us. How? You do bad things and you get misguided. <laughs> You no, do good things, no, no, you no, get no, no, guided. No, no, no. You see the Quran saying, are you going to guide the one who Allah misguide? So, yes. if, okay, so what the verse is saying clearly, but, that you cannot guide someone. What did that someone, person do? You cannot guide someone. What did someone, that person do in his life? Whatever he do, it was Allah who misguided him to do that. Yeah. What does Allah say? The, the verse is so clear. What does, it says, what does Allah going, say to what does, going, what does Allah say to Adam when he sends them down to earth? What does Allah say what, to Adam when he sends them down to earth? What Allah said to him, tell me. What are you... You know the ayat, Surah Al-Baqarah, I'm driving, I can't bring it up, but go to Surah Al-Baqarah, uh -huh. go to the ayah where he sends them down to earth, okay. and read it in Arabic, and let's translate it. Okay. What does he say to him? Okay, let me ask you first, I will go there. Did Allah, go ahead, go did, there. Uh, did Allah deceive Adam, and Adam was a victim of Allah, or Adam, he committed sin? Adam, Adam commit, uh, disobeyed Allah's command. What is the proof that he disobeyed Allah's command? He uh, ate from the the tree. Okay, but isn't it your prophet? He says that Allah he planned for Adam to eat from the tree forty years before he created him. Yes, I, we know that Allah knows the, uh, the knows the future. No, this is not about. We knowing, know that Allah knows This is not about knowing the future. There's a, there, there's it is a hadith. Knowing the future. There's a hadith. It is no, about. No, no, my friend, it's about this. No, thing. no. It's go about, to, but please go to the uh, verse in the Quran, please, before you uh, go go to another uh, okay, hadith. What, what verse you want me to go to? There's many verses. Your prophet. Go to the, what, it's 
in the it's in the beginning of the story in Surah Al Baqarah, yeah. chapter two, um, Adam down to earth, and then okay. what does he say to him after? I would like to for you to just translate that to the people. Okay, we we go there and we will laugh together. Here we go. In chapter two, chapter two, verse number thirty six, it says, "And Satan, he made them slip from the garden." Hmm? And then Allah, He said yep. to them, "Get down." Correct. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Get down from and where? Then? Get down from where? Hold on a second. That's, that's not the point here. What's what's next? Keep going. Okay. And then, and uh, we will make. Uh, read it all. Please. We, we will make. Read the, it all. We yeah. will make your enemy to each other. So you're not going to read the part where it says, "And if if uh, guidance comes from me, okay. whoever follows the guidance." Well, okay, no, it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't say that, my friend. It says, it says, and uh, then he learned Adam, he learned Adam from his Lord, words of inspiration, and his Lord turned yeah. toward him for he of returning most merciful. So uh, the translation is funny. It says here that uh, Adam, he repent, you know, or he received words from Allah, and then Adam, he repent, yeah. and Allah, he accepted his repent. Is that what you're yeah. talking about? No, not that, after that. Okay, then we say to them, he, all of you, okay, I'm just, he, I'm just reading a sentence after yeah. sentence. Then Allah, he says, yeah, sorry, get, get down, get down yeah. all of you of this place. Okay, and yeah. and whenever guidance, okay, when uh, guidance from me, and whoever yeah. follow my guidance, yeah. there shall be no fear yeah. on them, and shall no, they grieve. Okay, so do you accept yeah. this verse? Well, there we go. So this is the verse I'm talking about. Okay. So this is the... For every man that has ever been created from Adam till now, All right. every man, uh -huh. he follows this law. This law, okay. when God in, uh, gives you guidance, mm -hmm. or uh, sorry, when, when you do good things mm -hmm. that God has guided to, uh, to do, uh, to, uh, to, you, to you to do, and you do them, God will continue to guide you. Okay. God will continue to guide you until you get to paradise. All right. But if you do the opposite, mm -hmm. where the where, where Satan or the Shaitan or whatever you want to call him, mm -hmm. when you do the opposite, you go down a, the wrong path. Okay. And this is something that the Christians cannot disagree with because uh, the Christians also have, uh, you know, Satan in their in their book as well, who he tries to misguide the people. Mm -hmm. Am I am so, I wrong on that? Or? Okay, you are done. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. All right. Ahead. But but if we if we go the two verses you choose for me, the verses where I showed you, chapter four, verse number eighty-eight, where it says, "Are you going to guide the one who Allah is guide?" And you agree with it. It says that. And then you showed me the verse in chapter two, verse number thirty-eight, where it says, "When guidance, my guidance come to you." But in the other verse says, "Are you going to guide the one who I is guide?" So guidance of Allah will not come to the one who Allah is guide. And every single human being is misguided by Allah, starting from Adam. Do you agree that's with right. me? That's right. That's right. That's okay. right. That's right. That's right. No one gets. Uh, uh, that no man can guide another man. You have to understand that no man can guide another man without God's uh, intervention in it. No, this so is God a, this is the one who guides and he misguides. This is not what the verse says. No, this saying. is he's speaking. To, no, no. There, there's saying, another verse where he's speaking to Prophet Muhammad prophet, directly. Okay, and he tells him, okay, he's saying to Muhammad. He tells him, okay, are you going to guide the one who I am his guide? Which means he's doing it wrong when he tried to guide the one Allah is guide, correct? He, who's doing wrong? Allah is okay. doing wrong? Yes, Allah is saying to him, Are you going to guide the one who I am his guide? Correct? Yes. Okay. okay. That's mean. That's mean. It is not right to guide the one I did lie to him and I deceived him because how Allah misguide people by making them believe in wrong belief. Sorry, how does he misguide people? Sorry, I didn't get that. Yes, how, how Allah misguide? how Allah he misguide people by making them what? What when I say misguided, I'm talking about belief. I'm not about a look. If a person he is uh, uh, he don't put uh, nice. Uh, Okay. If you're gonna say the story, say say the full story, please. Uh, I'm the, story, you, uh, the full story this is, the is first, very clear. This is, okay, let us go and see the whole story. No. Thank you very much. This is, no, no, the full this story is, is very clear. The full is, this story. Is let me finish. Your prophet, this is the, your the prophet. Satan, uh, Bilal, Bilal. Satan disobeyed God. No. Or the Shaitan no. or Iblis, whatever you want to call him. First, Shaitan. Obeyed God. First, Satan. God sent him and Adam down to earth. Okay. Hold Satan on. said, "I'm gonna misguide all your guys. I'm gonna misguide your creation." Okay. Let me ask you. Is Shaitan? God said, "Okay." Is Shaitan is against Allah or he work for Allah? 
is against Allah. Can you show me a proof? It's against, what do you mean show you proof? I just told you what he said in the Quran where he says, I'm going to misguide everyone. I'm going to, well, he's going to attempt to misguide everyone. And then God says, you cannot misguide. No. Uh, you see? What, uh, Shaitan, I, uh, Shaitan he is an employee of Allah. Chapter 6, verse 112, it says, And we have appointed for every prophet enemies, Shayateen. All of us are employees to God. All of us are, are servants to God. That's another question. So Shaitan is employee of Allah, and he is doing the work for Allah to be the enemy of the prophet. Correct or not? That's not what Allah says in the Quran, though. Huh? That's not what Allah says in the Quran. That's what he says in the Quran. I, I don't understand. Say again. That's not what he says in the Quran. In the Quran, he, he tells uh, uh, the shaitan to bow down to Adam. He doesn't bow down. Mm -hmm. And then he he is uh, uh, I, like kicked out of uh, kicked out of uh, wherever he was. Mm -hmm. And and is sent down to earth. And he first became the all, enemy. First of all, very clear. first of all, the, the, the point, first of all, the verse you are talking about have nothing to do. Allah is ordering shaitan. Nowhere in the verse it says Allah he ordered shaitan. Allah he ordered the angels to bow down to Adam. He did not say shaitan bow down, which is a, which is showing the mistake in the Quran and contradiction and you know silly mistake, because when Allah he order he order only the angels to bow down to Adam, the same chapter you quote for me is a chapter 2 verse number 34. And remember, when we said to the angels, protest yourself before Adam, and they protested, except Shaitan, but Allah did not order the Shaitan to bow down, he ordered the angels. And according to Islam, right, Shaitan, Shaitan, is not an, Shaitan is not an angel. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So this, this is, so this is a mistake, and this is a silly mistake of the author of the No, Quran. no, no, this goes back to your ignorance of the Arabic language, okay. and, and my ignorance of the Arabic language. Okay. Obviously, you're, you're not an Arabic scholar, uh -huh. uh, but here we have uh, many, uh, like a thousand, let's say a thousand angels in one and one at least in the hmm. in the congregation. He okay. tells them all to bow down. Okay, and and uh, they all bow down. All the angels, nine hundred and ninety nine, bow down. Let's just say. Okay. And at least doesn't bow down. Okay. It's, I don't know the Arabic, and you don't know CP one hundred percent. I know you don't know the Arabic uh, language that well. To actually understand this, because in the other ayah, he talks about the shaitan being a jinn, at least being a jinn. Hmm. Correct or not? Hmm. Are you done? Tell him in a jinn. Are you done? Are, was, he, was he from the jinn or not? Are you done? Yes, he is. Are you done? Yeah, he's from, he's from the jinn. Okay. So, so, the excuse of not knowing Arabic, this is very silly, because I'm showing you the Islamic translation, and all of them, they don't say that shaitan, he was one of them. The, 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 the Quran is so clear in Arabic and in English. It says, We said to the angels, we said to the angels, bow down. So if Allah, he says, all of you bow down, whoever there is going to bow down, he did not say that. He said, I said to the angels. So Allah, he chose exactly the kind of the one who will bow down because it was the angels who accused Adam he would do mischievement and it was not Iblis one of them so what your answer is is very silly and have nothing to do with the Quran you are making your own excuse to cover up the stupidity of the verse because the one okay who is the one accused Adam would do mischievement is it shaitan or the angels uh, sorry, can you read the other ayah, please? Uh, no, 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 about the I, I want you to answer me. Who is, the one, who is the one who accused Adam to do mischievement, Shaitan or the angels? The, the angels were. The angels. Okay, so the, the normal thing is to punish the angels, not the one who did nothing wrong. So the angels is the one who accused Adam. Allah get upset from them because well, no, no, they said that. Huh? It has nothing to do with the sajda. It has nothing to do with the No, it has to do with Read the verse. No, read the verse before it. No, read the verse before it. He said to them, let me teach you. Okay, listen, listen, listen. When they said, when, when they said that Adam would do mischievement, Allah, he taught Adam all the names. Hold on. Allah, he taught Adam all the names to prove to them that they are a bunch of liars. The Quran confirmed that angels of Allah are a bunch of liars. 
They are not, not a bunch of liars. They don't prove. No, not a okay. bunch of liars. Did Allah, did Allah say to the angel? Did, did Where Allah, do you get lying from? Can you show me the word? Hey, Where do you get lying from? A, it's, it's they, a, they accused Adam. It's in the front of me. It says, okay, it's in the front of no, me. No, it hold says, on. It says, it says, hold on. It says, he, in kuntum sadiqeen. Translate to the audience, please. Will you speak Arabic? When Allah, he said, in kuntum sadiqeen. Translate for me. What in kuntum sadiqeen mean? If you are truthful, truthful. Thank you. That's mean they are truthful. But then what does he do after? What he do? He punished what them. What does he do? After? He punished them. He examined no, them. No. He examined them. He, he, he taught Adam the names and he said to them, tell me the names. Tell me the names of those things. If you are truthful, which means if you cannot tell me the names, you are not truthful. <laughs> okay. Then what did he say? He said, if... You see, I told you, I know what you do not know. No, this is not the question. question. Did Allah, he said to them, tell me the names of those things if, they, if you are truthful? Yes. He did not say if you are a person who knows. He said if you are truthful in Kuntum Sadiqeen. And the Muslim, they claim that Allah speaks perfect Arabic. And Allah, he used the word clearly saying, if you are not lying, which means if you are truthful, which means if you are truthful, tell me the names of those things. If you fail to tell me the names of those things, you are not truthful. Well, what did he say after? He, he told them, I, okay, so what? He, so I know what you do not know. So I have to okay, do, do okay, something with no. Okay, yeah. So, so when, when the angels, they claim to know, oh, that's mean they are lying. Did they claim that they know? Did they claim that they know? Yeah. They, yes, they accused. They didn't claim that they know. They accused. No, they accused. That means it's a false excuse. Okay, is it, it's a false ac ac accusation or a true accusation? It's a false accusation or a true accusation? Yeah. It is what it is, what the people this did after that. This is not a question, guys, look at the answer. It is what it is because he's afraid not to answer. No, it, is it a false accusation no, it against Adam or it is not? Against Adam himself? No, it wasn't uh, a false accusation. It was not. So Allah is a liar then. Because Allah said to them, no. tell me the name of those things if you are truthful about what you said about Adam will do achievement. <laughs> okay, what's the what's the Christian perspective in that? This in that is not changing the topic. Don't change the topic. So no, no, not changing the topic. You're just accused. You're just accused. I would, love to, know, I would love to know the Christian perspective. Please. Later, we can finish this and we can go to the Christian. Now you are I'm trying, you. You are trying you. to escape. You. you are trying to escape. I'm not trying to escape. I'm not trying to escape. I'm not trying to escape. You are trying. I told you. Are, you are okay. Then don't change. We can go there after we finish this one. I'm not changing. I'm telling you, your hair is big. My hair is big. As long as everybody heard you saying. That the, 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 the accusation, the accusation against Adam was right, truthful. You, they were right. You said that. You said the accusation the angels made against Adam was a truthful. So when Allah He said to them, "Tell me the names of those things if you are truthful," that means Allah Himself was not the truthful one because they are the truthful, and you admit that. And Allah is against them for saying something not a truthful, challenging them. If you are truthful, to tell me the names of those things, and because now they could not tell him the names of things, He said to them, "I know what you know not," which means you are wrong and you are untruthful. So now I'm asking you, the accusation against Adam, when you said it is truthful, did Allah make a stupid mistake by saying that Adam is not going to do what the angels said? No, it's not a stupid mistake because we do not understand this whole universe. We do not understand how things work. What does have to do with we my do question? Do not understand how things work. Why, why, we, switch, why we switch? Well, now to answer, about in, why we switch about not, talking not about the universe now? I'm asking you a specific question about a guy. His name is Adam. How I'm, this had to do yes, with the universe? Adam, Listen, I'm I told you, you. I, I Adam, told you my perspective about Adam, that. he was accused to do a mischievement. Allah, he said, get, tell me the names of those things if you are truthful. Which mean, Allah, he said, if you cannot tell those names, you are not a truthful. Do you agree? If you cannot tell me the names, you are not truthful? Yes. 
No, he did not say you are not truthful. Man. Well, read the verse then. Here, go, here we go, guys. I, I don't know what you do. He said, I know what you do not know. That's no, 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 no. I, read carefully. You know. Verse number 31, it says, and let me yes? read for you. And he taught uh, Adam all the names of everything. And then he showed them to the angels. And he said, tell yes. me the names of those things if you are truthful. So if they are truthful, correct. they will be able to tell the names of those things. Correct? You are truthful, yeah? Okay, but, uh, okay, but they were not able to tell the names, so they are truthful. Okay, so... What do you mean, okay? So, a second ago you said they are yeah, truthful. Yeah. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm with you, I'm with you, CP, I'm with you, CP. Okay. I'm telling you, I'm telling you that they, uh, they say, they, they said something, hmm. then Allah taught Adam something, and then Allah sh showed it to the angel, Hmm. The angels didn't know what it was, hmm. and then Allah tells them, I know what you do not know. Hmm. And then you ask me, and I'm going to be honest, you ask me, uh, uh, were the angels right? Mm -hmm. Do we have killing on earth? We do have killing on earth. Okay. Do we have people that mischief? We do have people that mischief All right. on earth. That's correct, 100%. Okay. Now, do I know what that means? No, I don't. Do I? <laughs> That's, so that's my answer to that. Now answer? I'm asking you. No, no, where's the answer? Hold on, hold on. Your what Christian is perspective. What is the answer? The angels they say to Allah. What's your that answer Adam, to that? Are you going to create someone with doom achievement? Allah, He said to them, Tell me the names of those things if you are truthful. Truthful about what? About He will do achievement. And you just said, Adam, He did killing. His children did killing. They did mischievement. So when Allah He changed the angels, right. when Allah He changed the angels, saying to them, "If you are truthful, truthful about an accusation they made against Adam." So you just admitted yes. that the angels they were right and Allah was wrong. What kind of God He have such a logic? Secondly, if I told he was not wrong. Right. He didn't say on. they're not going to do that. Secondly, secondly, God said they're not going to do that. Bilal, let us say, let us say, the God said he's not going to do that. Bilal, Bilal, let's, 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 listen, listen, God said they're not going to do that. Listen, 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 Bilal, Bilal, let me That's ask what you have to understand. Let me ask you a, 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 a simple question. Don't try to twist it. Okay, do you think... Allah didn't say they're not going to do that. What do you mean? Correct or not? Allah, he said, Allah, Allah, said, he said if you are a truthful, that means you are lying. No, no, no. Did God say they are going to They are gonna mischief? Or they're not going to mischief? Did he say that? He, yes, he said that because if they are a truthful, this will happen. If they are not a truthful, that will not happen. Oh. So they what, is, what is the angel that said? The angel did not say that Adam will eat cheese kebab. The, the angel did not say he will eat hummus. The angel they said he will do mischievement. So he said to them, tell me the names of those things if you are truthful. So the only argument is about what? About Adam will do mischievement. So if you are truthful, tell me. If you pass the exam, that's mean you know the unknown. That's mean you know the truth. That's mean you know that Adam will do mischievement. I know what you know not mean he will not do that and I am telling you that because I know the names of those things you do not know the names of those things so Allah he proved to the angel that he knew the unseen by giving things names which is very silly if you, I, if you have a dog with you or a cat and you name your cat Susu and you say to me Christian Prince what is the name of my cat I said to you I do not know is that proving that you're a god that is the most stupid excuse ever because if Allah is the one who named the things and then he asked them what the name of those things and they could not, that will not prove that Allah knows the unseen. It should be the opposite. Allah should say, okay, go behind the wall and give names for those things and don't tell me. And come here and ask me the names and then I will tell you the names. But what he did is the opposite, showing us that the one who came with the story is a kid. Because you naming something and then asking someone else what is the name, that will not prove that you know the unseen. Because it is seen by you. You are the one who gave them the names. So it's a very stupid story coming from a very silly book and there's no excuse for such a thing. Same time, you are the one who said that the angels, they were truthful and Adam did mischievement. And when Adam, he did mischievement, it was Allah's decision for Adam to do mischievement or it was against the will of Allah. All right. So, so, um, where did the angels get that information from? I don't know. You tell me. Maybe from Facebook. From Facebook? You tell me. How how come the angels they know more than your God? 
How I'm asking you, you, I'm asking you, where, where, where did they get that information? Me, don't from? ask me, this is your story, this what? is your God, ask your what? God, my friend. Why? You're the, the one, one You're the one that knows, right? No, you're I the am, one that knows, I am right? the one is laughing at the story, and you need to tell me where the angels, they got their information from, because this is the question that is proved to us that the Quran is not a book to explain anything. It's a silly book, there's no answers. If I ask you the same question... So who, who, okay, who, who, uh, okay, who was on earth before man? Who was on earth before man? Let us say, let us say, for the sake okay, of... Hold on. Okay. I will go. I will use your question here. Allah, how the angels they knew? I'm waiting okay, for good. the answer. Yes, Allah. Inshallah, you get it in your dream. What? Um, GP, what? do you, do you, do you, uh, Inshallah, you get it in your dream. I said, you ask Allah, Inshallah, you get it in your dream. Ah, okay. so I am going to have yeah. it in the dream. It is not in inshallah, the dream. I, so you can't answer. I said, me. Inshallah, so anybody that knows so Arabic, for, Inshallah means God willing. First God of willing. all, Inshallah is not an Islamic word. It is a Jewish okay. man who taught you the prophet. Okay, it's a, Jew, it. it's a Jew. It's a Jewish word, and we're going to use it. Inshallah, no, no, we're going to use not it. Exactly. We're, we're no, going to use it. The, the, the Jew, I, can I use no, a Jewish the word Jewish, or no? no I'm cannot, not allowed. No, you cannot. You can use Allah, but you cannot Why? use. You cannot it's use haram? God is willing because your God, your prophet was. It's, it's haram to use the uh, uh, Jewish word. It's prophet, haram? Yes, because the prophet. Haram? Yes, haram because the prophet says khalifuhum, which means don't say what they say, don't do what they do. Is it? This is your. No, no. This, is your this is your no. prophet. This is your prophet. Your prophet. He's so. I'm speaking English now, so I shouldn't be speaking English. Your prophet. So I shouldn't be speaking English. Hold on. Your prophet. He speaking, was. A, uh, your prophet. He was a praying. A Jewish walked by, and, and, okay, and the Jewish okay. man he said to him, "This is how we do it." Your prophet. He said, "Sit down. Sit question. down." Act differently. I don't ask so the question you actually not allowed to sure. act like them, to say sure. like them. Secondly, the word inshallah, which means God is willing, as most of them they mean, it means that you believe in a God who have a will. Do you have the you do you believe in the will of God? Okay, uh, fair enough to be. I don't want to jump into that. Can I ask you a question? I have a question uh, about something. Mm. Can I ask you? Go ahead. You want to change the topic, right? No, no, no. Uh, Adam, he commits sin because Allah, he forced him to do that. And this is the hate in front of you. It is in Sahih al-Bukhari. So my question, my question is, do, do Christians uh, eat, uh, like, uh, you know, in, a, in Muslims, we, uh, there's the halal meat. Hmm. And in, in, in Judaism, they have kosher. Hmm. Do Christians have anything like that, CP? What do you mean? Like kosher meat okay. or halal meat. First of all, Yes, we have something is called kosher meat, but Muslims, all the food the Christian they eat is halal for them. Correct or no? All the food that Christians eat? Yes. All the food that Ahl al-Kitab eat? So yes. Christians and Jews? Yes. Well, your God, he called us people of the book, which means we are the one of a book and you don't have one. So no, not, not you, CP. Not you who believes in a son of God. Not you. Uh... Uh, CP. Well, your Quran, you. your Quran, a real, a real your Quran called the Christian. people, hold on, just to show everybody how, okay. Like you. okay, so you are saying, like you. okay, hold on, so are you saying that when Allah, he says the people of the book, yeah. he means those who don't believe that Jesus is son of God? No, no, I'm telling you what, uh, what, uh, Ahlul Kitab. Okay, what, okay I'm, I'm, let me repeat the question. You are not listening. Okay? You are not listening. Relax, relax, relax. relax, relax. Let me repeat the question slowly. Hold on. Are you saying, are you saying, are you saying, hold on. Are you saying, listen carefully. Are you saying that when the Quran says people of the book, he mean only those who don't believe that Jesus is son of God? I am saying the true one hmm. that had the original this is not the question this is not the question when you go listen, listen carefully okay. listen carefully you. listen you. carefully when you god he called a group of people the people of the book do he mean everybody who believe in jesus as son of god or only those who don't believe in jesus to be son of god Allah says in the Quran, uh, He names the. Uh, 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 why you don't uh, give me the answer? Give me the answer and tell me what Allah said in the Quran. I'm asking I give you, you. I give you my Allah, answer. I give, I give my you the answer, answer first. Like, give me the answer. When Allah He says, "People of the book," do He mean the ones who believe in Jesus to be the Son of God, or those who don't believe in Jesus to be the Son of God? Which one? 
uh, Allah mentions them in two different ways, so I do not know. This, uh, a second ago, you know, a second ago you say he don't mean the Christians. No, a, second the ago, a second ago, a second ago you say he don't mean the Christians. Oh, a second ago, yeah. I said to you, no, no, I'm telling you, what does it mean, Ahlul Kitab? You are being, what does it mean, Ahlul Kitab? My, my friend, you are being hypocrite, and you are... Uh, no, you're being a... You no, are, you're, you're trying to you are, me, you're trying you to court me, but you, you know what, you are biting your tongue, you are biting your tongue. Did you say... I'm biting my tongue, did you say? Did you say I'm, that you, it, when, you, when the Quran... Did you give to the original Bible that was given to Jesus, please? Did you give the original Gospel? Let us repeat it again. Did you say... Did you give the original Gospel? When the Quran say that... Give me the book, you know, mean those oh, you can't, because Jesus you have King James Version. Everybody heard Trump's you. Everybody heard you. Everybody heard you. Love Version. This is Translation. Trump's version. This is Translation. Uh, Mark Version. This is Translation. This is Translation. You are being, you are look, being silly look, now. Yosef Ali look Version. version. Yosef Ali Version. Uh, 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 well, where does King James come from? Is King James a prophet? Muhammad Khan Persian. The Wadi Persian. Community Persian. Uh, uh, Arbari uh, Persian. Uh, 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 version, uh, not Persian. Version. Version, version. version. Sorry, Version. So all of those are... There's our translation, so you are a fool again, and you are changing the topic to escape. So I'm asking you again. How many when versions? Said, we have one version of the Quran. You, when, you said, the Quran. when you said, no, you don't have one version of the Quran. Even your prophet, he make it the clear. Version. Okay, you don't have one version no. of the Quran. Hold on. We what can, we can version? Version. Don't, don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. We will go there. Everybody will laugh at you in a, in a second. In a sec even, even, even Aisha, she said that Omar al-Khattab, he said that the Quran was a 1,025,000 letter. And now we don't have even 270 letters of it. So more, more than 90% of the Quran is gone. Don't go there now. We will go there later. No, I'm asking you. When you said, when you said, when you said that the people of the book, when the Quran speak about the people of the book, that means those who don't believe that Jesus is Son of God. Are you biting your tongue yeah. back for what you said, or you are going to admit that you were wrong? Hello? I'm listening, I'm waiting for you. Do you admit that you did, you did not tell the truth when you said, when the Quran used the word, the word of God, or sorry, the book of God, the, the, the people of the book, he meant those who believe, you, you said that, he meant those who believe that Jesus is not son of God. Are you sure from what you just said or you made a poo poo? No, Allah said in the Quran, he, he calls the, uh, the, the the Christian, the one he, he says uh, the Christian uh, who who say that Jesus is the Son of God. He names he says that in the This is not the question. Mention. This is not the question. Bilal, you are in trouble. So no, you, no, you I'm not did, in trouble. You but did, now we have to understand you did, you did, what does it mean? You did dig a hole. What did I say? Uh, did you, did you dig no, no, I didn't dig a hole. I'm, I'm telling you, okay. what was the initial topic? Uh, the initial uh, topic okay. so was give, what? So give me the answer. Uh, do you guys have, do you guys you have said, halal or kosher? Who said you have kosher? I'm asking you. I didn't. You gave me the I don't see in one supermarket in Canada and America where they have kosher. Only the Jews eat the kosher. Don't go to Walmart. Don't go to Walmart yet. Don't go to Walmart. Walmart, you are running away. I'm asking you. You well, said. Where are you said. You said. Where everybody heard you. Show you me one Christian who eats kosher. Please. Oh, 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 so listen, listen, listen. You it's said. You said. You said. You eat kosher. Listen, Ibn Farouk. Listen. Listen, listen, when you say to me that yeah. when, when the Quran, kosher? when the Quran, Inter, do you eat kosher? Quran, I'm asking you, you said, do you eat kosher? You said when the do Quran, you eat kosher? Me, the answer listen, is 100% no, you don't when eat kosher. When you say to me, no. the Quran, when the Quran, and there's every Christian, the book, the Quran, I was raised in the West, not like you, you unlike you, you, I was raised in the West, and I understand and, how, people how the Christians are. I want a clear this answer part. to repeat what you just said. No Christians eat kosher, bro. No Christians. It's only Jews eat kosher, Okay, guys, Muslims did you hear, did you hear what he halal. said? Did you hear what he said? He said, no Christian eat kosher. So why Allah he allow you to eat the, the, the food of the Christians? Go ahead. We eat halal. We eat halal. No, we eat halal, brother. And let me the, tell you. It says and, in the Quran. And we eat you halal ignorant. kitab. Ibn Farouk, you are ignorant. Chapter 5, chapter 5, chapter 5, verse number 5, chapter 5, verse number 5. It says, I made lawful for you today all the food of the people of the book. All yes. their food. All their food. What book, all though? Their what, food. What, what, what book do you follow? 
Chapter 5, verse number 5. The Quran what? says so. So the Quran what? saying, what? You whatever the Christian, you, what you, see, you, you are trying to change Christian the topic what because, you? Ibn Faruk, you, are, okay, you, beca the you, became, you became follow the Torah. What do you guys you follow? You became a joke for everybody. First, you use fake name. Guys? Secondly, now you are trying to change the topic. How many versions? Do you want a divorce? No problem. Okay. Bro? Hold on. As long as you are saying how many versions we believe. So how your God, he says, how I confirm. Versions? How I confirm. I confirm the book. I want to read the original Bible. Do you I'm have ask, it? I'm asking you. Do you have the original Bible? You see, you are trying to change the topic. I want to read the original Bible. Do you have it? You are a coward. You are I'm running asking. away from the topic. We have I'm Arabic. asking you. I'm asking we you. We have Arabic. Do you have the original Bible? In the front of everybody. Did you have the original Bible? Look at me. Did your God approve the book we have? Did your God approve it or not? I'm asking you, I'm asking you, do you have don't, the original gospel? Answer, Please tell me yes. Yes, we have, no. we have, we have. And the proof is in the where Quran. Is it? The proof Did is you in the Quran. It? In the proof Did is in the Quran. We have it. You can, you can download from There's the only one. We have in, the, in Jerusalem? We have, the, we have the Hebrew. There's we only have one? the Aramaic. We have it everywhere. Now I'm asking you, do you have the original Quran? Yes, we do. Where? The Quran is with us. What do you mean, where? Where, 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 where is the book of Muhammad? The Arabic. You have the Arabic. recitation. You have the Arabic. recitation. You can, you can I do it. Ibn Listen, everybody is laughing at you. You have recitation of a guy. His name is Hafs. And the Muslim, they accuse him to be a thief. And he is the son of Hassan. And Hassan was a thief. And oh. I can show you right now what the reference Shut up. Shut up. And in, even in the book, yeah. in hand, even in the book in your hand, it says, it says, it says Ibn Farouk, you're an idiot. You're a liar. Awesome is it's it's how you recite it. It's how you recite it. I want you to open the page number eight. Stop being an idiot. It's how page you recite number, it. Page number eight. Don't tell me how to ask them. It's how you recite it. This book is according to the recitation how you recite of Hafs. Ibn Asim, oh, Ibn Rujul, wow. the son of etc., the son of etc., according to, according to, according to, according to, according to, according to. How you recite it? There's different Quran. ways to recite so it. You have a recitation of a guy, he is a thief, who was exist 200 years after Muhammad. You never have a Now let's go back to the topic, you coward. It's the same Chat, Arabic. Chapter same 2, Arabic. Ibn Farooq, Ibn Rujul. I'm so thankful for your comment today. You're, you're chapter an idiot, then you'll find out you're an idiot. But you're a man. Chapter 2, verse number 41, Ibn Farooq. Enjoy your Facebook, you're a real man. You, your face, Christian everybody, you are wearing a 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 you are
he made Adam commit sin and Adam is a victim we discover Allah do not know the future and when Allah wanted to prove himself that he is God he decided to call the rabbit Dudu and then he asked the angels what the name of the rabbit the angel they said we do not know Allah so Allah he told them what the heck okay and now I'm going to show you that I am God who knows the unseen his name is Dudu the angels were astonished how Allah he knew the name of Dudu I mean just think about it for a second listen listen carefully brother listen carefully this is very serious hmm? Allah he made an examination and the funny Ibn Farooq he said oh they were the angels were right <laughs> the angels were right we are right so Allah was wrong and false <laughs> so Allah you know he wanted to see really he wanted to give us an example of knowledge at that time long long time ago nobody knows what rabbit is even the angels which is very normal I mean what angels have to do a rabbit think about it rabbit is a rabbit angel an angel so Allah he said to himself I'm going now to put those idiots who they challenge my authority and my knowledge by saying that Adam will do mischievement okay so I'm going to bring a rabbit and a chicken and I will give them names Allah in his secret plan which means when he gave them the name he did not tell the angel that this is Dudu And then Allah, he said, hey, rabbit, he did not even say rabbit. He says, come here because he don't want them even to know that his name is rabbit too, like second name. So they have second choice. So he said, okay, come here. And then he asked the angels, he said, tell me the name of this. <clears throat> if you are truthful, the angels, they heard the, <clears throat> they are stupid. They think his name is Ahmaham. <laughs> so they said to Allah, okay, hold, let me guess, let me guess. He said, okay, Zabril, what his name? <clears throat> you stupid idiot. I'm just making a sound. That's not his name. Other person, anyone who can guess, um, Muhammad Ali. Like you idiot, Muhammad Ali is a rabbit. What's wrong with you? He's a boxer. You know? It's true, strong people. Give me better guess. Okay. He is Andrew Tate in the jail now. He's a rabbit, you know, and he was attacked by, you know, he was like, Halam, Halam, brother. What are you talking about? This guy is a champion, you know, for Allah. You know, he have a business web camera, rabbit don't do that. Hey Allah, don't you saw that, you know, Playboy station, they have the rabbit sign. He is a rabbit. We must be right. Stupid idiot, no. His name is Dudu. And now I prove to you that I am God. Have you ever heard of such a super duper intelligence? The God, he proved that he is God because he knew the name of the rabbit. I mean, just think about it for a second. If Allah is not God, how he was able to give a name to the rabbit and then later he was able to know the name of the rabbit? This is not easy. This is not easy. Just think about it. I know you are Christians and you don't want to tell the truth and you, wanna, you don't want to know the truth. You are afraid from the rabbit of Allah. Dudu. Do you know his name is Dudu? No. See, I'm Allah worship me. I mean, this is story alone in the Quran that Allah, he named the names of all things and he asked the angels to tell him the name if they are truthful is a clear evidence that the one who wrote the book is an idiot with certification of stupidity. It is higher than BHD. It's like BHD, M, F, O, M, F, M, you know, short wave, long wave, whatever you want. I mean, how stupid the one who made this story up. How in the world does guy, you know, this God, he proved that he is God by what? By naming the rabbit Dudu and he asked him, what is the name of the rabbit? And then now the angels, because they could not answer the name, Allah got them busted. Do we have any person from the Dudu land? 
he would like to call me and look brother the Muslims in order to escape the humility of their God like this guy mr. little one uh, can you explain to me Christian print Matthew 27 52 60 50 this so he's not this guy he is not worried about the humility he just face in his God he is worried about Matthew he was not listening he was like reading Matthew Christian Prince can you explain to me Matthew we just gave him we gave him a big, like big explosion to his God and his God became shattered like a cheese and now can you give me please uh, you know explanation for Matthew okay Matthew 27 uh, please I need it necessarily now so he can change the topic this is how they are in the best scenario, okay, I challenge you to prove to me the Trinity. Like you talk about chicken, you talk about Trinity. You, you talk about anything. They change the topic in the speed of light so the humility of their God cannot be exposed. What about you call me and we will talk about Matthew. Do you dare? Or you are afraid that you are a circle and I will make you square? All of you are the same. God, he called the rabbit Dudu, and he challenged the angel to know the name of the rabbit. And then because they could not know the name, he proved that he is God. Okay, what is the name of the dog of Biden? I don't know. Who knows Biden, no? He must be God, because Biden, he called his dog, he gave him a name, and no one knows the name save Biden. Have you ever heard of a stupidity beyond this? And this is the God, and this is supposedly, guys, remember, this is a super challenge between God the creator of the universe who made the women have a sperm coming from their ribs. This is why I'm scared. I'm not going to get married. You go to the bedroom, your wife take off her clothes. What do you think? What do you find? Those women, they are fooling us, man. They told us that they have a breast. They are lying. They have two testicles, big and huge ones. I mean, yours is nothing compared to them. Like you look at yours, you look at her. You look at yours, you look at her. Man, she have a bigger, way bigger. Especially if she go to Thailand. I mean, who can challenge such a God? So this is a super intelligent, intellectual discussion between God and his angel. Tell me the name of the, uh, the rabbit. And then the angels, they fail. What a miserable breakdown. How in the world do you do that? Hmm? Man. Too much hummus. Too much hashish. Mr. Little, you are too little and you are like annoying like bug. What about you be a man and call me and I will, we will, me and you, we will read Matthew 27. Not only that, I will give you the answer from the Quran. I mean, who can be that? And that's why you're afraid. You're very much intimidated that what happened to earth man will happen to you. You will end as a rabbit. Rabbit number one, rabbit number two, rabbit number three. Which rabbit is you? I have numbers for all of you. All of you are rabbits. Otherwise, call me. And let everybody see. Do you dare? Mr. Circle? Or are you afraid to make you square? I'm Allah worship me. I know the name of the rabbit. Who knows the name of the rabbit? Nobody knows the name of the rabbit except me because I'm the one who named him Dudu. In fact, I just changed the name. Therefore, I am the only one who knows the name of the rabbit. Even the rabbit himself, he do not know the name because I did not tell him that his name is a new name. <laughs> oh boy. Do we have any Muhammadan here? He dare to, let us see in Skype, I have somebody. Repent to Allah and this guy is saying to me, help. Let us see. 
This guy is asking me to repent to Allah. Okay. I just decide to repent to Allah. I'm going to confess my sin to rabbit. Prophet rabbit, peace be upon him. I'm calling him. Let us see. If you are a Muslim and you are a brave, not like Uthman ibn Affan, Uthman ibn Farooq, text me a Skype and I will call you immediately. And now we are calling one Muslim, but he is not answering it. I don't know why he's not answering. All right. Maybe he's a joker. Let us see a different one. There's another name. Um... Is this the right account for Christian Prince? Don't send me those stupid messages. You know, I mean, it says there, Arabian Prophet Christian Prince. Eh. And the admin is posting the exact details. So it's not, I mean, we are giving you even like, it, it's a code. It's not even like an email or just a name, you know. Still people, they ask you, is that the right account? Do we have any Mohammedan here that you dare to call me to join us live on air? Anyone? Any Muhammadan, he have the courage and the knowledge. And as you see the title, do Allah guide or misguide? My voice is slightly different. Yeah, because I have a contact with rabbit today. This is what happened to my voice. I have allergy from their fur. Rabbits. Do we have any Muhammadan? Do Allah guide or misguide? A very easy question. You don't dare to call me because you know the answer. So you accuse me of lying and then, you know, you know what, what silence mean? People, do you know what silence means? When somebody, when a Muslim, he don't want to call to prove me wrong. What does that mean? It's mean they agree. They agree. Otherwise, they will be lined up trying to prove me wrong. Right? Imagine if the one who is speaking right now, he is like an American. He don't know anything about Islam. You know, he doesn't speak Arabic. He have nothing. You know, the Muslim will be lined up to talk to him. Yeah, we prove you wrong. You are a liar. Here they are, rabbits. Hmm? Do we have any Abdul? Any Muhammadan? No? Yeah, absolutely, we are life and we are kicking and Muhammad is dead. We are life and Jesus is life. And he is the one who give life. Even the Quran confirmed that. And you, Muhammad, and follow a dead man. His name is Muhammad. Actually, this is not his real name. As long as we are talking about Dudu. His real name is Qatham. Muhammad, he wanted to call himself the praised one, thinking that he can be God by calling himself the praised one. Even the name of your prophet is an insult to God. The funny is that the Muslim, they say, that we Muslims believe Muhammad is a servant of Allah, so how his name is the praised one? So who is praised to? Do you Muslim praise Allah or praise Muhammad? His name is praised one. The name alone is not monotheist unless you worship Muhammad. So if you praise Allah and Muhammad, we have two. This is why you will see not only they change his name to Muhammad, they cannot even say his name without adding a long line. I remember once I called an Islamic TV station and I said to them, Assalamu alaikum. I said, Wa alaikum assalam. I said, the brother, Salli ala nabi. Allahumma salli wa sallam ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Sahabi wa sahabi wa sahabi wa sahabi wa sahabi wa sahabi. 
I said to them, just pray on the Prophet. And they have to make a prayer, long prayer. And then I said, and Zidu Salata Al Nabi and both of them, both both donkeys. And I said to the third time, Fal Nazid Salata Al Nabi. They don't even dare to say to me, enter the topic, man. They have to keep repeating, praying, praying on Muhammad because I keep asking them to pray more on Muhammad. Do they dare to say stop? Do they dare to say what you are calling for? No, because if they do that, the Muslim will eat them alive. Are you stopping the guy from saying Salah on the Prophet? Did you just do that? Uh, you, uh, uh, you know, Zidu Allahumma salli wa sallim ala Sayyidina Muhammad. I mean, you can spend the whole day doing that to them. They don't dare to say to you, stop why you are calling. Why you are calling? They worship the man. Do we have any Muhammad from those Muhammad and from those who pray on Muhammad is willing to call me? Hmm? Anyone? They are busy with the stupid things. Assalamu alaikum, wa alaikum assalam, brother. Brother, yesterday I was making uh, sexual contact with my wife, and a drop of her milk from her breast was I was sucking her nipples, drop in my mouth. Is she became my sister now? What the heck? The guy is having sex with this woman for the last century, and now he is worried about a drop of milk in his mouth. She became his sister. And they talk about the Hindus. Are you sure she did not become your mom? Because she is the one who gave you the milk. Another guy he called, he's asking, I am engaged, alhamdulillah, and we are planning to get married next month. But it happened that me and my fiance, we ate from the same ice cream. Is she still lawful for me? Look how decent those people. They do muta, they sleep around. One night stand, 10 minutes stand, as Mimi Hijab, he says, do marry, they marry, a, they want to marry a girl for 15 minutes, five minutes, go watch the video. And now they are worrying about eating ice cream. She is forbidden for me or not? Look how decent they are. So they are so good, busy with the most stupid things. The second you ask them serious question about the religion, okay, tell me about the Trinity. I challenge you to explain the Trinity for me. What the heck? All right. Let us see. We have a Muhammadan is asking question. Let us call him. Be a man and don't tell me how Jesus he's saying and how Jesus he's saying. We are calling him. Obviously, he will not answer. If you don't answer, I will block you. Be a man. Hello? Hello? Okay, who is what Abdul mean? Abdul. What Abdul mean? What? Oh, he's using the internet of the neighbors. We are waiting for his internet. Hello? Okay, let's see a different person. The first one turned to be a rabbit. Let's say the second one. A Muslim calling me princess. Okay, we can switch topic to talk about princess. Mm -hmm. Suppose he's insulting me. I'm calling him. 
ஹலோ ஹலோ யா யூ ஆர் கோலிங் மீ பிரின்சஸ் ஆ யா ஐ ஹேவ் அ ஹம் அ குயிக் क्वेश्चन நோ நோ வாட் வாட் தி பிரின்சஸ் மீன் வெல் ஐ வெல் ஐ only call you princess because it seems like you just pick on islam okay so are you so okay though, so i mean i respect i respect you i respect christianity i used to be a christian i used to be a mormon i went to a catholic church uh, i tried to learn everything well, if religion. you if you've been a mormon you never been christian like i said i was searching for the truth oh okay so and, as long you I, as long I, you are Bible, as long you used I to be a mormon what is the most famous prayer for the mormon i i personally i never I never used to really the oh, bible makes he no was sense. a mormon but you don't pray it makes no sense look it listen no listen sense. so you did not and, know okay, how what is the most famous prayer for me, listen Saint listen John, so you see you see how i got you busted you see how i got you busted blah, 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 blah. hold on not, we cannot talk no, in the same time no, we cannot no, talk no, in the same time don't be afraid don't be afraid you are afraid you are afraid why you lie why you lie and you say you used to be a mormon yet everybody knows that more when they teach those things to the children even they send you as a missionary town. when you are high school so why are you are lying saying you used to be a mormon when you never been one there is a baptist church down the street from where you I said live. you are a mormon i said i used to be mormon exactly so the left. one who used to be then a mormon he will know the basic thing and then I left. my friend you are a liar like your prophet now let me ask you is it okay to I'm lie in like islam or okay. is it okay to Explain. lie in islam or not saint john no saint john chapter 5 verse 30 i can of my own self do not things as i hear i judge and my judgment is just because i seek of not my own will hmm. but of the will of the father that has sent me okay meaning the words of saint john as supposedly seen in a vision or whatever You said Same. you said what what, what Okay hold on hold on hold on you said John, you said John what chapter are you reading <clears throat> Sorry excuse me <laughs> Saint John chapter 5 Okay uh, just stop Do you accept what it says there in the chapter 5 Well it says right here that I that No no I'm not asking you I'm not asking what it says I, I know what it says I'm asking you do you accept what it says there or you don't It says that Jesus is not God. No, no. He just said to you, my God. father, in the same verse you just quote for me. Did he say my okay, father? Okay, you say that. Did he Adam say, hold on, hold on, father, hold on, hold on. Did he God say. God cannot have children. Oh, it is impossible. My friend, my friend. He my is friend. a creator. Okay, If we cannot talk in the he same He cannot time. have no. We're going to have a conversation. We're going to have a conversation, right? Do you want that or no? Yeah. Okay. But When God Jesus, he said. God cannot. Uh, I'm, God I'm, cannot I'm giving to give you the mic. We cannot talk in the same time. You want me to hang up on you? You can hang up on me on your wife. Your God is it's a fault. You are a, you are a coward. Say, you will okay. not let me talk. Okay, you you ask me a question. You, you ask me a Testament. question. Look at the you. Trinity you are was, like a radio Trinity station. You don't dare. You don't you don't you don't dare. You don't dare. You are a potato. You are a potato. Look, no. you keep talking. How I how we can talk in the same time? It's historical proof. If historical you if you want if you 1831 the Romans okay, officially okay. adopted the Trinity. The Trinity oh, okay. Hold is on, a hold pagan on. Okay. Oh, okay, thing. okay, 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 gods, okay. Three gods in Stop one. talking. Stop talking. And the 10 commandments okay. it says Give me give me you, you gave me a question. Do you want to answer or not? I just won. <laughs> Do you want to answer? Or not? Right there. Do you want to answer or not? Explain the 10 commandments. Do you want me to answer or not? There's no gods before me besides one. Okay. So do you believe why would you, do you believe you, do you, you believe do you believe in the Ten Commandments? I believe in the 10 commandments. Okay, show it to me in the Quran. Hold on. Just everybody will laugh at you. Show it to me in the Quran, the 10 commandment of your God. If your God is the same as the God which you mentioned that you believe in the 10 commandment, can you show me the 10 commandment was given to Moses in the Quran? The 10 commandments were given to Moses. What? You guys said you should understand that. I'm asking you, where is the Ten Commandments in Islam? You said you believe in the Ten Commandments. Well, don't you don't you believe that you shouldn't despite descriptions of I'm heaven? asking you, do you, do you, you yourself, you not don't change the topic. You, you are, the one, are, you are the one who said you believe in the Ten Commandments. Can you show it to me in the Quran? Because in order to believe in them, you have to have them. Where do you have them? Where do you guys have them? There is no physical proof of the Ten Commandments besides through, besides. Let's get lost. You mentioned to me, you stupid, you just quoted the verse where the Ten Commandments is, and you are saying to me, where do you have the Ten Commandments? I don't have time for kids. Potato. 
Muta boys. You just yourself, you quoted to me the Ten Commandments. You are not following them. But you Muslims, you never heard of the Ten Commandments except from my book. And you are saying to me, you don't have them. I mean, I'm talking to who? A burqa girl? No wonder you don't want me to, to, to talk. And when a Muhammadan, he say, oh, let us go to John chapter 5. Do you believe in chapter 5? In chapter 5, verse number 19, Jesus, he said to everybody, the son he cannot do of anything of his own, but he do with the father. And as he see the father, and whatever the father can do, the son can do. Somebody post for me chapter 5, John, verse number 19, so everybody will die laughing at your stupidity. Chapter 5, John, okay, I got you busted. He said, Jesus, he cannot do anything of his own. La, 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 la. <laughs> you know, the same, you, you, and this is how idiot they are. The same chapter they chose him for us is the same chapter proving that Jesus is God. Whatever the Father can do. Let me let me open, you know. People are not posting yet. I don't see it in the chat. Let me open it. Hmm. <laughs> this is what you caught from you, idiot. And to prove to us that Jesus is not God? I mean, how stupid those people are. The quotation you are quoting for me is a clear proof that Jesus, he can do whatever the Father he does. Whatever he do, the Father, the Son can do too. The Father he create, Jesus create. The Father forgives sin, Jesus forgives sin. The Father is alive, I am alive. The Father give life, I give life. So when a foolish Abdul, he go and he finds supposedly what is supposedly against our belief. In verse number 21 and 20, you will see that when Jesus, he said nothing he can do by himself. But in the same time, he says, whatever the father can do, the son can do. The same as the father, he can. raised people from the dead the son can do as well he's not saying a prophet can do all men they should honor the son even as they honor the father you don't honor a prophet the same as you honor God. That is a blasphemy against God. So do you see how stupid you are? You are just a little kid. I don't have time for kids. Let your daddy call me. Let your daddy call me. The same chapter you quote for me is a clear evidence that Jesus is God. You have to honor Jesus the same as you honor God the Father. But all of us, we knew that no man is equal to God. So what Jesus is talking about? He's talking about himself as the Son. The same as you worship, you honor. How you honor God? By worshiping God. You don't honor God by saying, I respect you. Is that correct, guys? You don't honor God by taking your hat off. How are you, sir? No, you honor God by worshiping God. And the Bible is full of verses where people worship Jesus. So the, 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 the potato you, you mentioned to me the Ten Commandment, we asked you where it is, you say you don't have them. Will take us two seconds to search for Ten Commandment, we will find where are they in Google. I will not even say, all of you go search and see how they lie, they say we don't have them. 
A Muslim, he lie, or he is a follower of a liar. When you follow a liar, you are a liar. Even the same chapter says that the father, he gave all the judgment. All what? All the judgment. Who is going to be the judge in the day of judgment? If you ask the Muslim, they will say, God. No. Not your God. Our God. The Messiah. So, all the judgment is given to Jesus. And you know, it's not a secret to say, oh, the Father gave it to him, because Jesus keeps saying that. He gave it to the Son. He did not give it to you. He did not give it to a prophet. There's no man can judge a man, because all men are sinners, the Bible say. Except Jesus. Even the stupid Quran in chapter 19, verse number 19, say the Holy Son, Jesus. Even in your stupid book, Yet Muhammad is a big fat sinner in the Quran. The same as the father, he reject people from death. The same as the son. Not only that, if you continue reading the same chapter, and thank you for mentioning this chapter, it's a great chapter. Verily I say to you, Whoever hear my words and believe on him that he sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but it passed from death into life. Believe in what? Believe in Jesus. And how to believe in Jesus? You honor the Father the same as you honor the Son. And to believe in what? That the judge in the day of judgment is Jesus. And to believe in what? That the same as the Father, he can raise people from death, the Son can do. And to believe in what? That for Father loved the Son. Read Muslim, read, read. Stop being blind. The Father, he loved the Son. And this is why we call him the son. We don't call him the father. You know, the second I say my father, that's me, my father, is the where I am from. It's not the opposite. <laughs> who is who is first? You know, who is second? You know, so the second you say the father, what the Christian believe? Jesus is born of the father, not the father born of the son. So it's very normal for Jesus to say, everything I have is from my father. And from who? From my father. And what he have? The judgment, the power of life, resurrection, forgiveness. So when a Muslim, he try to give a bad credit to Jesus through the Bible, we laugh at you. In the top of that, we will find that the stupid Quran says, that Allah, he confirmed the book, which was us, 600 years after Jesus. This is your stupid book, which came 600 years after Jesus. And this is why the Muslim, when he called, he will not let me talk, because if I talk, he will be embarrassed. So blah, 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 blah. How you confirm our book if this guy he just said our we don't have them? This guy he said we don't even have the Ten Commandment. But Muhammad he put his hands over the book of Moses and he said, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. Read and love. little tiny to stand in front of giants and we smash you is that your quran oh this is the hadith well it's it's higher than the quran because muslims they throw the hadith above the quran 
the Quran say do muta, the hadith say don't do muta, the Muslim what they do, they throw the Quran in the garbage and they do muta. Or they don't do muta anymore. The Shia only follow in the Quran now. So look at this. A group of Jews invited the message of Allah. And he came. And they asked him about a judgment about somebody doing fornication. The prophet, he says, bring me the Torah. Bring what? The Torah by name. Not the Talmud. Nothing else. Specifically, the Torah. It was then brought. Then he would draw the cushion from beneath him and placed the Torah on it, saying, I believe in thee and in him who revealed thee. Do you see it? So we have verses in the Quran confirming the book of the Christian, the book of the Jews, and we have hadith. And this is not enough for the Muslims. We have tons of verses in the Quran saying Allah, he confirmed the book which is in our possession, not was with them. Even there's some verses saying, Ma bayna yadayhim, which means which is between their hands. And by the way, when a Muslim, they say that the book in Jeel is corrupted, a Muslim, he is giving a screwdriver to Allah. Do you know why? Because according to the Quran, it is the book of Allah. So a Muslim is accusing Allah that he cannot protect his book and that will make it more lovable. So we laugh. Isn't it Allah who said nobody can change the word of Allah? وَلَا مُبَدِّلَ لِكَلِمَاتِ اللَّهِ Nobody can change the word of Allah. And isn't it Allah is the one who sent the gospel, the Injil, and the Torah? So when a Muhammadan accused the, the gospel or the Torah to be corrupted, Muhammadan is laughing at his God. This is additional proof that we cannot accept the God of Islam. Let us see this guy. Let us see who is the coward. Just to warn you, if you want to talk to me, give me a chance to talk. So I will give you a chance to talk. We cannot talk at the same time. If you want to do that, I will hang up on you. I'm going to close my voice. Be an adult. We are calling another Abdul. Let us see. A Muslim told me nowhere Allah says to protect the Injil. I had this. Well, my friend, this guy is not answering. I forget. And the funny is, you know, they call you coward, call me coward, and then you call them and they don't answer. Hmm. Call me coward. I challenge you. Potato. A Muslim say to you, that a Muslim told me, as you say, that nowhere in the Quran, Allah, he said he will change, the, he will protect the Injil. That is even more funny. Isn't it, this is your book, and isn't it a screwdriver in your bum if somebody changed it to you anyway? Do I need to say? Shall I be upset if somebody playing with my book? I have books. But he is lying. The Quran says, Nobody can change, and in many places, not only once. Nobody can alter the words of Allah. And he did not even say the Quran. He said, nobody can change the words of Allah. Chapter 6, verse number 34. Chapter 10, verse number 64. So, when a Muhammad and he say, Nowhere Allah, he said, he will protect the, uh, the, the Torah and the Injil. He only, he speak about the Quran. That is just to duct tape the stupidity of the Quran. Because as you see, it says, no one can change the words of Allah. This is what it says in Arabic, the words of Allah. And this is the Muslim translation. Isn't it the Injil, the word of Allah? The Muslim, they say yes. Like you said, the Torah is the word of Allah. They say yes. So where is the Quran? They lie. And now when they explain it, they say, Oh Allah, he meant Quran. 
Okay, how you can change the Quran and the Quran is not even finished yet? Shouldn't be the book is even done to protect the book? <laughs> he did not give the book yet. I mean, do you see the stupidity? And the book change will not happen in the time when the prophet is there. It's going to happen after. So Muhammad is there now. And he did not even receive 1% of the Quran. So how this is, can be a promise for the Quran? And not only that, Muhammad, he forget Quran. Why the Quran says that you will recite and you will not forget. You will recite and you will not forget. Right? Let us call this guy. He is saying to me, Quran never gave the name Dudu. Let us just start with the first topic and then we will go to the second one. Let us call him. The Quran never gave the name Dudu. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Let us call this guy. <laughs> you know, guys, this Muslim, he would say to me, where do you get the name Dudu from? I changed the phone, show me reference. Can you believe it? He's texting me in Skype saying, nowhere the Quran says, Allah, he named the rabbit Dudu. I mean, what's wrong with those people? I was joking, you idiot. This guy asking me for reference where Allah, he called the rabbit Dudu. Admit that the Injil is not the word of Jesus. Okay, hold on. Uh, where is his text? Where is the guy text? Admit. Where, 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 where? I'm going to copy it, put it in the screen. I didn't see his text. Where's his text? It's gone. Post, post your text again. Admit that the Injil is not the word of Jesus. You're stupid. Muhammad and are reading. They are suffering from shafranizia like their prophet. Isn't it the Bible says, isn't it the Christian they say, the gospel according to John? So in the gospel according to John, John, he speak about him, the disciples, and what happened, and what Jesus said. You Muslims, you have a mental issue. Don't the Christian they say, according to Luke, according to Mark? So, this is the story of Jesus, as Jesus, he was with the disciple, and there is the word of Jesus, the words of God, and even what the disciple they experience with Jesus. So the Muhammadan, they are very weird. They think they got like the rabbit from his tail, or do do I mean. But here we have a book, it's called Quran. And it's the most funny book ever. Full of stupidity. So you have no excuse. Do you? Who is a Muhammadan? Look, I keep calling them one after one. The last one we call, he will not let me, let me talk. This guy, he called me, he will not let, uh, he will not answer. Let's see another one. Don't send me messages saying, hi, CP, I will block you. And don't send me messages saying, I have a friend from high school. Just make it happen and, call, and, and, and let him text me. Guys, don't send me messages in Skype. Unless you are a Muslim, or if I say Christians can call me. I mean, people are weird. Don't be stupid. If you have something to say, you have a friend, text in the chat. Don't text me in Skype. When you get your friend, let him call me. No need for drama. I have a friend, I have it, uh, I have etc. I have a neighbor, I have. Don't tell me the stories. Do we have any brave Muslim here there to call me? When they go scream, <clears throat> and you see they're making me lose my voice, because they're afraid from what I will say. I mean, imagine he called me, and he said something, he just said something, he will not let me answer. And it's my program. He hijacked it, and he speak fast, so nobody will hear you, nobody will hear me, 
We talk over each other. What the point? Because he's terrified. Potatoes. They have no dignity. Do we have any Muhammadan? Any Muhammadan here? Uh, Mr. Little, if you don't want me to, to block you, you have to prove what I am saying is a lie. But saying to me, you are saying nothing but lies, it just is stupid. Because even your stupid Quran says to Muhammad, if you have a doubt about what we send to thee, ask Christian Prince. Do you want to show you the verse? This is the Abdul. You have nothing but lies. I showed him in the screen. You are lying. It's in the screen. You are lying. It's a screen. It's lying. It's it, 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 lying. It, lying. But, but it, lying. So they cannot refute us. They are too little, as you see. Two little rabbits. If I am lying, call me, challenge me, and prove it. And as you see, everybody, my witness, if you give me time to talk, you allow me to talk, you will talk. Like what happened with Ibn Farouk? Ibn Farouk, he was fine in the beginning. He gave me time to talk. I, you know, I give him time to talk. The second I start hitting at the end so hard, the guy, he went like out of the station. <laughs> This is the truth, my friend. They go out of control. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to call us? What a wonderful human being. Can you believe me that a Christian sending me a message in Skype to say to me what a wonderful human being? Let me block you. And don't support me in, in Patreon. Hmm. I blocked him. He said, what a wonderful human being you are. I'm going to support you in Patreon. I blocked him. We are not here in a coffee shop. If you have something serious to say to me, then you text me in Skype. You have a scholar. You have a shake to debate me. Don't text me to say to me, I will support you in Patreon. Please don't. I'm not Muhammad. Please give me a loan. Who want to give Allah a loan? If you give Allah a loan, Allah will double your loan. This is not me, my friend. So what if you want to give me a donation in Patreon? Do you think I would treat you differently now because you said that word? Oh, this is a secret word. Money. Now he will answer me. He will not block me in Skype. I just did. Who? Who will give Allah a loan? Beautiful loan, please, for the sake of Allah. Allah, Allah, he need a loan. Okay, okay. I mean, have you ever heard of a God like this? The God who created the universe, he is begging for a loan. Do you remember the debate between Mimi Hijab and David Wood? Less than an hour after the debate, Ali Dawah, he came with Muhammad Hijab. Brothers and sisters, there's more than 100,000 Muslims leaving Islam a day. And we need your support. Brother, Brother Muhammad, go ahead. And then Muhammad, he started reciting this verse. Who want to give Allah a beautiful loan, which Allah will double for you in credit, in visa card. Like, what the heck? So those guys, they said to themselves, oh, look like we did really good in the debate. This David Wood, he is not good in debate, so look like we have a victory and the Muslim, they like it. So let us ask for money. Not even an hour after the debate. Who want to give Allah a loan? <laughs> and now if you give it to me, me hijab and Ali Dawa, you are giving it to Allah. <laughs> Mimi Hijab and Ali Dawa, they hijacked the bank account of Muhammad now, you know? 
In Muslims, who want to give us a loan? I don't want money. I want versions. I accept versions. No cash. Can I get like 70 version loan? I'm single. Like loan to the lonely, maybe. I mean, this is why it's called loan, isn't it? Actually, in Islam, there's something called Isti'aratul Furuj. Borrowing a vagina. Can you believe it? Isti'aratul Furuj. Hmm. Do we have any Muhammadan? You know, when I was studying, I, when I saw this time first time, I could not believe it. I mean, this is disgusting. How in the world the book says Isti'aratul Furuj? Borrowing vaginas? How you can borrow vaginas? And I challenge any Muslim to say I'm lying. Who want to challenge me? And by the way, if you are a Shia, you say the Sunni have it. No, you have it too. If you are a Sunni, you say, no, the Shia have it. You have it too. Both of you have it. Borrowing vagina. <laughs> what a religion. What, what? What a religion. Hmm. Any Muhammadan? This is the book, it's called Al Muhalla, Bil Athar, for Ibn Hazm. Do you remember the guy from uh, Indonesia? He said to me, Ibn Hazm? You remember the guy, Ibn Hazm? Hmm. The book of Hudud, 223, uh, and the number is not clear, you know, 223, 234, I'm not sure, maybe one. You see, the number in the copy is not clear. The topic is, the one who made lawful the vagina, the vagina of his slave to someone else. <laughs> From Ibn Abbas, this is a different uh, story now. Uh, <laughs> it, if it became lawful for the man, the wife of the man, or his daughter, or uh, his sister, of, which mean a man he made lawful for such a person his 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 women his daughter or his sister which is her slave he can if her and he can put it he should have her i mean he's speaking about here about the pos position the sexual position he can put it between her two legs qala ibn juraj wa akhbarni ibn tawus an abi so Ibn Juraj Ibn Tawus from his father they said there's no problem with that and he says it's halal and if you have a child from her guys if you don't understand what I'm saying now the Muslims are exchanging women I have I own some women I gave it to you you have some women you give it to me you sleep with them, I sleep with them, and now they are coming with the solution. Okay, what after he if her, what if she have a child? And they are discussing that. Let me see if I can find you the exact uh, Arabic uh, text, not a photocopy of the book. Uh, give me a second. <clears throat> so you can use Google Translation, you know, just to make it... Uh, Simple. This is the religion of ethic. This is why Andrew Tate, he like it, a pimp. Here we go. This is in Al Muhalla, Ibn Hazm, and this is the book. And this is in the Shia library, but this is a Sunni book, remember that. All right. And here they are speaking about all the details you can imagine. Here. If the owner of this woman, he allow her vagina to someone else. She is not his wife. Uh, and uh, she is not the right hand process which is made lawful for you. This is here, it says this is error. Okay, but if you go down here, he says, Qala Abu Ahmed, Abu Muhammad, 
رحمه الله بلا 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 كانت امرأة أحلت أمتها لزوجها A woman she allow her husband to eat her slave They are talking about all those issues here, you know. So what we were reading, you go down. Let us see what it says. Workaha. Here we go. Here, here. What is lawful? From Ibn Abbas, he said. Uh, which is very confusing text, by the way. If the woman she made lawful uh, to the man and his his son, or his daughter or his sister. Uh, 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 to him, his his slave or her slave, he can if her, he can do it to her, and he should put it between her. Like when he do it, they are describing even the position. And Ibn Juraj and Ibn Tawus, he said, there's no problem with this. It is halal. And if she have a child from him after he if her, hmm, the husband will not pay any penalty. You know. The one who slept with the women, which is not his wife. There's no penalty because she made it lawful for him. And it's lawful the same as food, as something normal. Let's use Google Translation. Let us see if Christian Prince is making things up. Here we go, it's in front of you. The translation will not be so much accurate. Let me zoom in more. If a man wife this is what it's meant. If a, if a man, his wife, she made her slave lawful to her, to her, uh, uh, to her husband. You know, this woman, she is open-minded. She liked to watch her husband have sex with somebody else. You know, so she made lawful for him a slave owned by her or her daughter or his sister, etc. A slave girl. He should put it between her. You know, uh, I don't know what translation for the word work in English. Or, or uh, somebody can help us in the, in the chat from those who speak Arabic and better English than mine uh, because translation is not coming right so you know they are describing how to F her and then they say well if this woman if this is a slave which is been loaned to him loaned she he don't own her she's not his slave she been loaned give him permission to use her vagina not to use her only the vagina if this woman slave woman she gave a child then it is a permissible for him and there's no penalty and this is from the authority of ibn abbas ibn abbas said see ibn abbas this is the cousin of muhammad as you know let me uh, make a short link and send it to you and that will make the Muslims save the link too. So maybe they can make a video about it to refute me. I encourage you. This is a religion of God. Borrowing a vagina must be true God religion. Here we go. Remember, you need to open the link in Google browser so you can be able to use google translation do we have any muhammad that would like to join us live beside those who just call us names but they don't dare to talk to us anyone It should be blue what the link did not work guys the link did not work link work okay well the problem because those they have like in the top they have Arabic words so when you try to pause them in YouTube uh, they will not be able to pause because it's so it's so long YouTube will make the code really long. But as you see, many of them, it's work with them. It work. I don't know why it doesn't work with you. Do we have any Mohammedan here? 
take a rhino. It's not working because you are, you know, you need to you need to ask permission from the Ustad. The Ustad, they can, if the Ustad, he click on it, the link will work. Yes, it's not going to work with you. You are not Ustad. Come on. If you are an Indonesian Ustad and you speak two Arabic words, you can make at least 10,000 a month. 10,000 dollars a, a, a speech. Two words in Arabic. Assalamu alaikum alhamdulillah. There's a guy, he was studying in Bosnia. He's a Christian. He's an Arab Christian. Then something happened to his family. They could not send him money no more. And now he's in trouble. He's a student studying there. He was looking for a job. From place to place. He will work anything, even clean dishes. And then somebody told him that in the mosque, we need an Imam. He knew that he's an Arab. The guy, he said, okay, I can do it. And he told him how much money he will get, a lot of money. So the guy, he stand in front of them, he says, shish kebab, hummus, alhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, wa la blah, blah. And those Muhammadan who do not understand what he's saying, they bought after him. He was working there for more than six months and he made a good money until he was able to, to survive. Imagine an Arab Christian praying on the front of the Muslims, playing as an Imam, speaking gibberish and none of those who is behind him understand what he is saying bismillah alhamdulillah wa la hawla illa quwwata illa billah amin and this is what happened in indonesia they call themselves ustaz they learn they learn two arabic words and those muslim wow mashallah brother antithar zakir naik himself don't speak arabic can you believe it? The one, the Ahmed Dida do not know Arabic. Go watch him making a speech in the front of an Arab people. Did he have a translator and he said, I don't know Arabic as you know. So how do those people, they study the religion? CP is the goat. Don't talk about goat, please. Please don't talk about the goat. That will hurt the prophet feeling. Don't you know that a goat, she ate the Quran while the prophet was dead? A Muslim is insulting me and saying he's a goat. Are you accusing me that I am the one who ate the Quran? I assure you, papers is not part of my diet. I eat falafel, hummus, yeah. But papers and leather, no. Sorry. Read with me. Ayesha, she said, the, bre the verses of stoning and of breastfeeding adult. I love those verses, brother. I mean, where are they? Man, if those verses are still there, I will convert to Islam. Adult. What? What, what, what adults are doing? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Guys, I need to meditate. Adult, 10 time. 10 time. Until you are satisfied. You have to do it 10 time in 10 different days. Do you know how many neighbors I have? Oh man. I will go in the bus every day. You know what? It's better to go in the train. By the time you go to second station, you will be full. Adult breastfeeding, 10 time, and this is a verse from Allah. Okay, what happened? What happened? Where is the verses? It was revealed, and the paper was with me under my pillow. Oh boy. Breastfeeding for adult Muhammad, you put it in the pillow. How dare you, man? If I am you, I will put it in the safe. If I am you, I will put it in the National Bank. If I am you, I will go to the Federal Building. I will put it in the CIA headquarters. I mean, you can control the whole universe with this. You put it under the pillow, something priceless like this. And when the message of Allah died, we were preoccupied with his death. And a tame sheep came and ate him. 
And then the Abdul, they come to us, the Quran is preserved. Brothers and sisters, this is Ali Dawa. Christian Prince, this is like in, uh, what is the name of the other one? I forgot their names, you know. Yeah. Uh, uh, what is his name? The funny guy from Egypt? Amru Adib, Amru Adib. Ya Akhwanna, Ya Akhwanna, the Quran is محفوظ ويجي الرسول ويجي الرسول ويقول له صلي فينا يا مسيح صلي فينا والمسيح يقول له لمحمد صلي فينا يا رسول الله محمد رسول الله يقول له روح يا مسيح خلاص سيبني بحالي يا مسيح مش فضيلك يا مسيح والمسيح يقول له ابدا ابدا لازم تصلي فينا يا رسول الله ويجي رسول الله ويدخل المسجد ويصلي رسول الله وانتم عارفين بقى لما رسول الله يصلي الفرات والدرات والمخاط وما تلاه This guy you do not know about him but those who speak Arabic they know what I'm talking about Do we have any Abdul? Not not Amr Adib hold on not Amr Adib Guys remind me of the name not Amr Adib not Amr not Amr Adib no Amr Amr Khalid Amr Khalid sorry Amr Khalid Amru Khad, not Adib. Ya Rasul Allah. I mean, all of them, they have a weird voice, man. All of them, they have the most weird voice ever. And then the guy, he start making money. And suddenly he have hair in his head. He was bald his life. The money is coming like rain from the Muslim. Suddenly he have a hair like, he, he have a fur, not only hair. I mean, I was looking at what happened to his head. Yeah, Amr Khad, Amr Khad, yeah. Unbelievable. Then the Muslim, we don't know. Of course, of course. Then I eat the full. You're not going to tell me. Tabsib and Nasib. Do we have any Muhammad in here? Look at them. Desperate, but the most funny one is the one who caught for us a John chapter 5. Remember, guys, John chapter 5 is something priceless, it confirms who is Jesus, it confirms that the Messiah is the Lord. Do we have any Muhammadan? anyone and you know if you look at the hadith in front of us which is exposing the lies of Muhammad and about this story because even if the goat she ate the Quran okay she ate the Quran did she eat your memory it's just a question the goat ate the Quran isn't it the Muslim they say that we reserve the Quran in our heart and we remember the Quran in our memory? Okay, wonderful. The goat ate the Quran, did not eat your memory. How come not a single Muslim can remember the verse? Who is a Muslim? He can call me and tell me what is the verses of 10 time and 5 time because as you see it says abrogated by 5 time who wanna call it for me? Hmm. yeah I like it this guy he was a Mormon <laughs> you know first time I came to the state ever the first people who come to me, to my door, were Mormons. So I know very well what they believe. I thought they are Christian. I don't know. You know, I, I just knew in USA. I, I saw two young men, you know, knocking at my door. And they say we are from the church of Jesus Christ. So I, for me, when I hear the word church, okay, they are Christians, you know. And they said to me, do you like to go to our church? I said, fine, I will go with you. You know, I don't know. I have no idea what Mormon is. I never heard of them in my life. Then when I went there, I start discovering who they are and I start dying laughing at their belief. So I know what they believe in. 
So this guy, he called me, he said, oh, this guy, he did not know what Mormon, you know. I will say I'm Mormon. Oh, and there is a Baptist church was down street. What the heck? Are you sure? Not up the street? It was down street. And that make me now, like, I'm convinced, you know. Yeah. Like the guy who called me like three days ago. He, he was he was he was an ex-Christian and he converted to Islam. Two minutes after we got him busted. Hmm. Are you sure you were more men? Or you wanted more men? I'm typing in Arabic. Hmm? Let us be honest here. You were a Mormon or you are here to talk to Mormon? I'm just thinking maybe, maybe, I mean, maybe what this is where you went. It was a gay club. He went to gay club and he think this is a Mormon. Unbelievable. Don't play with me. I will make you shish kebab. Your IQ is so slow. Do we have any Mohammedan? All, all of you are in the Mormon club. <laughs> hey, be honest, guys. Don't you enjoy the my company? Come on. Who wants coffee? Oh, nobody is here. They left to the Mormon club. <laughs> the Azhar University denied the hadith. No, they cannot. Because the one, actually, the one who wake up this hadith first time, I know about it, but the one who made the fatwa, like a new fatwa about it, he was himself teaching in Azhar University. He was the dean, not just, you know, the dean of the hadith. You remember? So how they can deny it? And the, the hadith in front of you, this Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, what uh, deny it? I'm back to my coffee again. My friend, you have people, they call you and they say they are more men. And you don't want me to drink coffee. <laughs> I never receive a call from someone saying to me, more girls. They call me and they say more men. So what I will drink, I will drink coffee, you know? Oh.